Studies show that more than 100,000 Americans are affected by sickle cell wow. disease, or SCD, which is an inherited disorder that affects red blood cells. People with sickle cell disease have red blood cells that become hard and pointed instead of being soft and round. This causes infection, stroke, and acute and chronic pain. So today on Behind the Mystery, we're sitting down with president and founder of the Foundation for Sickle Cell Disease Research, Dr. Lynetta Bronte-Hall. Welcome, doctor. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here today, doctor. Thank you for having me. Explain what is sickle cell? Yes. Well, sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder. So you inherit one sickle gene from mom, one sickle gene from dad. The biggest thing with sickle cell disease is to understand that it is a disease of oxygen deprivation. Mm. So the red blood cells carry oxygen. So if you're constantly deprived of oxygen, every organ in your body is affected. Of course. Their eyes, their liver, their heart, their spleen, they kind of lose their spleen early on in life. Doctor, I read here that sickle cell patients uh, face some difficulties when it comes to health care. What kind of barriers do they face? Well, the biggest challenge that the patients have is that they have acute pain and chronic pain. So they constantly seek care for their pain. Um, so there's a lot of stigma associated with that because the pain medications they require are opioids. So they face challenges with getting seen on time and really having physicians who know them well and can prescribe these medications on a chronic basis. When you transition from pediatric to adult care, there literally is a entire gap in care, services, resources, funding, everything. Most people in this world believe that sickle cell affects people of color, and yes. so therefore fundraising is almost impossible, right? Yes. But let's make sure, let's dispel this myth. Sickle cell affects everybody, right? Right, so sickle cell can affect anybody because again, we're talking about genes. And particularly now that you know people you know, mix and marry and, sure. and so wherever you go, I like to say your genes go with you. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but India, Saudi Arabia, the whole Mediterranean, I mean, there's so many people with sickle cell disease in our world. No I mean, matter it's actually the color. Absolutely. Common. What does the Foundation for Sickle Cell Disease Research provide to sickle cell patients? everything that we absolutely can and everything that they absolutely need. Oh. So we are a full service, comprehensive medical care center and we also participate in clinical research. And clinical research is so important. On the medical care side, we have an infusion suite. It has 18 lounge chairs, so the patients come in, they bring all of their things with them, you know, so that they can be comfortable for the day. And they're able to get their IV fluids, pain medications, um, and any other meds that they need. We also have a case manager, so we have social work. They get all the wraparound services. Um, we prepare meals for them. Wow. We're so proud that we're able to offer all of those services. It sounds like, doctor, it's uh, more of a multidisciplinary approach? It's multidisciplinary. We have a neurosurgeon um, that works with us, a hematologist, oncologist, nurse practitioners, lots of nurses and medical assistants. We have a fellow that That's works great. with us. So it's, it's really wonderful. All for sickle cell. And you're putting it. on a symposium or something? Soon? Yes, yes. So every year we have a symposium. We're coming up on the 17th annual. So this is how long the symposium um, has been in place. We get people from all over the world, Ghana, Australia, Brazil, that come to the symposium to share their experiences about sickle cell disease and their knowledge. Doctor, how can people get involved to help those with sickle cell disease? Yes, you can always visit um, our website and, and make a donation. Um, and your donation goes a long way in helping this patient population. Where can people go to find out more information? FSCDR.org or FSCDRLLC.com. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you for the information and thank what you're you. doing to help all those people. Thank Absolutely. you so thank much. Thank you so much for being here with us. And of course, if you want more information, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. And we'll be right back. Right after this.